life, love, and pop pop culture. Hi guys, my name is Danielle Delgado. And I'm Sebastian Olszewski, and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. You're getting ready to embark on your world tour. How excited are you? I'm very, very, very excited, honestly. I've been waiting like a year to start traveling again, so it's super exciting to like start off going home in Argentina. Uh, so it's going to be very fun. I'm really excited. Okay, we have to talk about your latest single. Tell me a little bit about the song. So the song is basically about, uh, well, this girl is kind of playing around with my feelings a lot. She's kind of telling me she wants to be with me, but she's actually with somebody else. So it's basically a song of like, I'm tired of waiting. I've done all these things for you and you need to tell me right now if you want me to be with you or not. Uh -huh. So that's basically what it is. Kind of a breakout, kind of I'm tired of waiting yeah. type of thing. So. so is the inspiration behind your EP like your love life? <laughs> no, you know, I... I haven't really related a lot of the music that I do yet to my personal life. I kind of like just writing stories about certain things. I feel like the For You song has a lot to do in terms of the break as well with me, just tired of waiting and, and finally going on tour and going to start doing all these things. So it kind of relates to that. But I'm so focused in my music right now that I, there's no love life right I now. I need you to sing me a little bit of your song for you. Sure. Once upon a time I gave up my heart for you, for you. Yeah, you'd sew it up, but in a drown with no heart for you, for you. There you go. I love it. <laughs> the thing I love about music is that it speaks to everyone, and you don't even need to, like, understand the language. Sometimes music just takes over, yeah, you know? And you're like, it's, yeah. It's my song. No, I agree. I mean, I sing in Spanish, too, yeah. and, like, so many people that, you know, that speaks only English, they'll, like, start relating to the song. And, like, music itself, like, I just love, like, coming up with melodies that that express a feeling as that's like whenever I write a song for example I will come up with a melody from just a little beat and I'll know exactly what I want to write about which is kind of weird like and it kind of a melody tells me the subject of a song so it's kind of interesting how music kind of relates to that way I also feel like I have a moment in mind for like every song that plays so like what drew you to music and made you want to pursue career music? Well I've always loved music I mean I think Justin Bieber was a big inspiration in terms of just because he made it just through just on his own with his YouTube videos and I used to watch his videos all the time it was actually before he even released original stuff I was watching his covers a lot and I think he really inspired me in terms of just taking a chance and actually trying to make it and in terms of music itself I think I've just I've always been drawn to music my mom would always take me to concerts I would I was always surrounded by music and I think that's what also kind of drew me into just trying it out I feel like you're so humble how do you stay humble in this industry well I just feel like you have to I mean just it's a job just like any job it doesn't make you better than anybody else if people like your music that's great but it doesn't it doesn't make you like a better person it, does, it just I just think a lot of people uh, they, they they think they're better than everyone else by their following when it's just numbers. It's just, so I don't know, I just always stay true to myself and just, I'm, I always want to be real with people because I always want people to be real with me. So there's not really a key to being humble. I just, that's how I guess I am. So, yeah. How you were raised, I guess. You're quickly, like, becoming a star, and I can't wait to see where your career takes you next. Yeah, I'm very excited. Yes, me too. But what do you want your fans to remember you for the most? What do I want? I want them to remember me for me. I think I'm super open to my personality on social media and I think that's what people, I want people to remember me from. I'm super talkative, super enthusiastic, I think, and full of energy. So I think that's just what it is, an honest person and a good well, person. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for watching and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.